we're talking about dark spots, hyperpigmentation, otherwise known as liver spots, age spots, pregnancy mask, freckles. We have so many different things to, that we call them and they're caused by so many different things. I'm going to tell you a little bit today about what causes them and why Beauty Hack is going to be your very first line of defense to prevent, protect, and correct. So if you don't have them yet, I'm going to tell you how to keep from getting them. If you already have them, I'm going to tell you how to prevent them and what to do about the ones that you already have. So let's start with the anatomy of the skin. Many different things can cause a dark spot. And what happens actually mechanically in the skin is you have a melanocyte. The melanocyte is responsible for creating melanin or the pigment is, which is in the skin. Now we all naturally have different levels of melanin. Some of us are more deeply pigmented than others. And some of us are actually more reactive to outside external um, things that can trigger or cause melanocyte activity or overproduction in some cases. So some people can go out into the sun and they don't get a sunspot. Other people with any sort of UV exposure, they get dark spots, sunspots, and even you know strong areas of melasma. For some people, it's caused by um, medication hormonal changes, inflammation. A lot of us are trying to combat the signs of aging and wrinkles with aggressive peels, a lot of um, different solutions that we put on the skin. And anytime that you actually inspire inflammation over a prolonged period of time, that makes your skin less able to defend itself and more likely to cause hyperpigmentation, which is truly just your body's way of trying to defend itself from too much incoming UV exposure or even internal forces that can cause your skin to become darker. Because our body is so much smarter than we are, when your skin becomes darker and creates any sort of a freckle or a, even if you think about a sunburn or a suntan, that's your body trying to say, protect me from the incoming UVA that is trying to assault my skin. So what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about how we can start with Beauty Hack to stop that cascade of the process. Of course, we want to rely on SPF and sunscreen 100%. However, let's start with skincare and go from there. So first, Let's talk a little bit about the cellular function. We have cells that are called melanocytes, and then we have our skin cells. And the melanocytes actually create an enzyme called tyrosinase. Tyrosinase actually helps to create the melanin synthesis. So if we can, and that basically what that is, is that that cell is saying, create melanin, create that dark pigment, and then transfer over to the cell where it becomes a dark spot so we can protect ourselves. So we can cut that off at the pass by protecting the skin and letting the skin know that it's okay, it's protected, it does not need to create that line of defense, then we are stopping dark spots before they even occur. So that's the first place that we're gonna start. We've put a couple of ingredients in our Beauty Hack Neck Face Treatment Serum. For those of you that are new, I'm gonna show you how this works. You want to twist this on. You wanna see, you're gonna see that little gel come out. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the ingredients. So we have something called oligopeptide 68. Oligopeptide 68 is a tyrosinase inhibitor. And the tyrosinase inhibitor means that we did exactly that. We went right to the cellular function and we are stopping that in its tracks. We are telling that cell, you do not need to create pigment. And oligopeptide is a very, very effective mechanism to go in and slow down that production, and in some cases, that overproduction of melanin in the skin. The next thing is something that is so common that you've heard before, teas green teas, black teas, and purple teas. Not only are they antioxidants and they're gonna to work to protect the skin, which we're gonna talk about in the next step, but 
they are also going to inhibit tyrosinase creation. So we're going to kind of tell our skin to chill out and not protect us in the very first place. That's prevent. Oligopeptide 68 and green, black, and purple teas. Next, we're gonna talk about protection. So how do we protect? Once, once we've targeted what goes on on the inside of the cell, what are we going to tell the cell to do with outside aggressors? So we put a number of things in, antioxidants. That's gonna include vitamin Cs, camu camus, teas, alpha lipoic acid, CoQ10, and astaxanthin. Each one of those I will go into greater detail in further videos, but in an that antioxidant blend is going to protect your skin. The second that UVA damage or UVA cells come, or UVA, the second that the UVA rays and that infrared exposure comes into the skin, we want those nutrients and we want those antioxidants in the skin to say, no, you can't come in. And if they touch the cell to say, you wanna know what? We're strong and we can protect ourselves. Vitamin C is a great one for that. And we use a vitamin C ester. It's both fat and water soluble. And what that means is that it is more stable on the skin it penetrates more deeply through the cell membrane into the mitochondria, and it helps to keep the cell healthy. Now, we also have camu camu. Camu camu is so interesting. I can't wait to tell you more about this in its own dedicated video. Camu camu is a fruit that is found in South America. It has even higher levels of vitamin C than any other fruit out there. We typically hear about oranges and all those other things when they talk about vitamin C. So we have vitamin C ester, but we also take in and harness the natural power of the camu camu fruit. And the camu camu fruit also indicates and shows in clinical study, studies that it protects at a cellular level by increasing cellular energy. So not only are we giving the cell everything that it needs to protect itself, from UV exposure, but we're giving it a little extra energy to do so. And camu camu is really important in that. Next, tea. The teas are also the acid, the anthocyanins in tea are very, very potent to antioxidants. They are also uh, tyrosinase inhibitors, but they also protect secondarily once you already are getting that UV exposure. So they kind of have a one, two, they're a superhero, if you will. Alpha lipoic acid, CoQ10, also energize and protect the cell. And then we have something very exciting called astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a little something that makes flamingos pink. It makes uh, lobster, all of the, the crustaceous sort of little seafaring babies that makes them pink. And what that does, that gives them a natural sunscreen. Now it does not turn us pink. We still need SPF, but at a cellular level, it helps us to protect ourselves from UV inflicted damage. So if you think about it, that's a pretty strong army that we have included here to protect you from the onslaught of environmental damage that comes to your skin. Next, for those of you that are thinking, okay, Hillary, great. I know how to prevent a dark spot, but I already have dark spots. Now, what do I do? How are you gonna help me there? Well, keep in mind, we we already are helping you by preventing future dark spots, but I'm gonna tell you how this is gonna help you to correct them. Because traditionally, the way that you correct a dark spot is you brighten it, you lighten it, and then you continue to exfoliate the epidermis to reveal lighter, brighter skin underneath. Now, unfortunately, traditionally, in dermatology, a lot of the different ways that we approach this exfoliation can be a little bit harsh. And it can be harsh in the way that it actually encourages or boosts inflammation. Inflamed skin is more likely to hyperpigment. If you think about it, the dark spot is there to protect you. So if your skin feels like it is aggressed and it needs protection, it is going to be more likely 
to hyperpigment. So if you're using retinols, if you're using strong peeling agents, if you're manually exfoliating too much or too often, your skin is raw, it's exposed, and it's vulnerable to the ravages of UV. So that's why we take a much more gentle approach to skincare. We want your skin to function the way it was designed to function. I will say this to you over and over again. Our bodies are so much smarter than the science that we create as humans. And we create all of these things that might make our skin do one little thing like put on retinol because it'll over, it'll exfoliate, it'll, it'll improve cell turnover. So you're going to reveal fresher skin, but it also makes you more sun sensitive. That's contraindicated. So if we can actually go back inhibit the melanin overproduction, protect your skin, stop the signals that you know it's going to send to make that dark spot by making it safe enough not to have to do that. We are going to not only put a band-aid on a problem, we're going to exacerbate a problem. And that's where we go here. So to correct, rather than relying on harsh, ingredients that can make your skin more sun sensitive. We have naturally it, it, um, sped up the cellular turnover to reveal that fresh, healthy skin with Bakucha oil. That's spelled B-A-K-U-C-H-I-O-L. That naturally has been clinically proven to expedite and speed up that cell turnover without giving you the redness, the flakiness, and the irritation associated with a retinol or a vitamin A. It also has been clinically proven to improve collagen. Who doesn't love that? Again, we're leaning in to the genius of your body here. Next, we have prickly pear, which comes from a cactus. I know it says pear. I don't know what to tell you, but it's a cactus. And what that prickly pear does is it break down, breaks down the mortar that is in between your cells on your epidermis and helps them to naturally lift to refine the texture of your skin. You will notice that your pores appear to be more refined and smoother. You cannot shrink your pores. We will talk about that later. But if you keep them clean and if you turn over those cells, they will appear smaller and you will actually have a much smoother texture. But I digress. <laughs> yes, um, vitamin C ester is actually going to lighten and brighten dark spots. Sometimes you can, some people do use hydroquinone, which is a bleaching agent. It is metabolized by the, the liver in, um, in very moderated use. It is very effective for dark spots. However, for some people, you know, sometimes we like to think that um, more is better and with hydroquinone, it's definitely not. And people tend to overuse it and it can actually create further darkening and hypopigmentation, those white spots. So if we can find a way around that, let's do it. If we can lean into making our skin the healthiest skin that it can be and rely on you know, the nutraceuticals that make a big difference, that's really where I'd like to go. So correct with bakuch oil, prickly pear, vitamin C ester, and we have a mushroom complex. A snow mushroom complex helps to lighten and brighten. So I'm gonna recap and tell you a little bit about why before I apply my sunscreens, I begin with skincare. Before sun care, skincare with Beauty Hack because we're going to prevent with oligopeptide 68 to decrease the tyrosinase activity and the melanin synthesis with teas, green, black, purple. We're gonna just stop that at the pass. We're gonna tell that little melanocyte, don't you make that pigment and don't you send that pigment to the cell where you're gonna deposit and turn into a dark spot. As much as we can, we're just gonna interrupt that whole interaction. Next, if you already have dark spots, we're going to further correct with Bakucha oil to turn over with prickly pear to further unglue those cells to reveal brighter skin, vitamin C ester, which is gonna lighten and brighten also with the mushroom extracts. And then we're gonna protect. We prevent, correct, we correct, and we protect. Prevent, protect, correct, protect. We're gonna go back to protect over and over because we wanna keep that skin healthy and we're gonna protect with our antioxidant blend. That includes 
our vitamin C esters, our camu camus, our teas, our algaes. I'm gonna do a whole other video on our antioxidant blends and how we protect the skin and we protect the cells. That will take us, <laughs> it's a whole nother video. But we also have alpha lipoic acid and CoQ10 and astaxanthin. By the way, both camu camu and astaxanthin, or camu camu, by the way, both CoQ10 and Camu Camu improve and increase cellular energy. So that's gonna give each and every cell the boost that it needs to do exactly what you need it to do to protect the skin. So all in all, if you're worried about dark spots, if you don't want them, if you have them, if you don't want more, you're gonna to wanna to trust your beauty hack.